Well, as a mechanical engineer, uh, selfishly, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that it lands and it works. Um, I've been on the Mars program for uh, about the last 20 some years. That's been uh, a big part of my career, uh, designing uh, the last three or four series of Mars rovers. The Perseverance uh, rover headed to Mars, ready to ride a column of fire and smoke. 1981, I just graduated high school and uh, was getting ready to head off to college in the fall. And I worked in the mailroom that summer <clears throat> and was just blown away by the experience, not that working in the mailroom was that exciting, but it was at the time when JPL was first encountering, um, I believe it was either Jupiter or Saturn at the time with the Voyager missions. And I, you know, the press coverage and the media was everywhere and it was like being at a Super Bowl. So I, I was blown away by that. And that started my experience at JPL. One, one of the things that's interesting with the development of these Mars rovers, I mean, you have to be careful with what you ask for or, you know, how successful you are. So NASA, when we land the Curiosity with that new, pretty risky landing approach, the sky crane maneuver. You know, they immediately wanted us to turn around and use that same architecture. On paper, that sounds good and it sounds uh, e efficient and effective fiscally, but in reality, it was pretty difficult to do. Um, it was much like uh, fixing a car while you drive it. We did it, but uh, and we did it within the resources, but it was a challenge. Perseverance launched in uh, late July, I believe it was, and will land in just a few days. This particular rover has a helicopter on board. Sometimes you have to do something just to show that you can do it. When the Wright brothers flew for the first time, they flew an experimental aircraft. And in the same way, the Mars helicopter is designed to show that we can fly powered helicopter flight in the Martian atmosphere. A lot of folks are interested in how well we could perform, you know, flying a helicopter in the uh, thin atmosphere of Mars. And so we're about to find out. There's a lot to be done, but I, I will be happy at landing, successfully landing. up a mission like this, it cannot be done by one group or one person. There's so many key groups and key people, and fortunately they all work together well, but it's a couple thousand people that come together. 2,000 at JPL, not counting our partners in industry and so forth. So <clears throat> it's a big team. Never limit your thinking. Um, I like to think all things are possible, and if you're willing to work at something and uh, take chances, then a lot of big things can be done. And so, you know, not everything is uh, successful that you might try, but if you work hard and commit, you can, uh, you can achieve some of the things you thought you could not. Hey everyone, Cody Broadway here. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the NBCLX YouTube channel. Be sure to click here for more videos and also click here to subscribe to join the NBCLX community.